Hi everyone, it's Fiona here and it's Friday, so it's time for my Friday 5 newsletter. And this week I'm celebrating 750 downloads on the Vedic Astrology podcast that just happened today. Thank you everyone who's taken the time to listen to the podcast. It's a super fun project with lots of interesting topics that I still want to explore and colleagues that I want to catch up with. So I'm really looking forward to many, many more episodes. It's a project that began over the summer that keeps going. Here we are now in the autumn. So thanks everyone for support with the podcast. And then the newsletter today, I just wanted to let everyone know that um, I was thrilled this week to take over a new role with the Asheville Vedic Astrology Apprenticeship Program. I am the custodian of the program. I'm looking forward to supporting this excellent, excellent academic program that currently has students from all over the world. And I want to get to know the students. I want to keep building on the excellence that's there and build in the assessment rigor that is going to allow our current teachable students to gain recognition, just like the existing graduate apprentices. So plenty for me to look forward to and get my teeth into. Um, in topic number two, I also have just a little graphic there about the students from all over the world. We've got people that started right at the beginning of the Teachable program nearly two years ago and students that just enrolled this last month. So I'm very much looking forward to it. And being a visual person, I'm going to go drop down to topic four here because it's also about uh, the Asheville Vedic Astrology Apprenticeship Program students who are unteachable. I have a couple of study hall sessions coming up. I'm trialing a midweek version and a Sunday version. So let me know which one suits you guys better. And if you click those links, you can grab your spot. And then over on the column three and five, we've got some Astrologam updates. Last Sunday, we got together for Astrologam number four. We had a look at Naomi Osaka's birth chart because we do not have a birth time for her so it was a great opportunity to look at the chart of someone with significant life events and significant life characteristics her genetic background is very unusual her career is unusual her success success at such a young age and her personality they're all really noticeable features of her life and herself so we had a lot of fun everybody sharing their different approaches including using cards of truth we looked at significant events like winning her first us open and we looked at different house lord combinations that you get depending on where you put the ascendant um, time so yeah lots of fun in astrology and four which leads into topic number five, Astrologam 5. The tickets are available now. However, it's quite a few weeks away because the next one would coincide with the um, Halloween. Uh, we have a long weekend here in Portugal uh, for that, so I won't be around. So um, it's some several weeks off in November, but that just means you've got time to book your spot now, get the chart details and get ready to join us for what is always a fun, informative, educative, collegiate kind of environment on a Sunday. We'd love to have your company. So I hope you will come along in November. All right. Well, that means you're up to date with everything at fionamarks.com. Thanks for all your support and look out for the new podcast is due over the weekend. We'll see whether I get myself organized and whether it's published, but it certainly is due anyway. All right, great. Have a good weekend. Look forward to seeing you for a booking or a reading or a follow-up sometime this week. Okay, bye.